what's going on youtube this your boy pmg back with a new video so today we're going to review halloween ends oh my goodness terrible garbage it's going to be a spoiler um review so if you haven't seen the movie watch it on peacock or wait until you get on Netflix or something, then come back and look at this bullet review because this movie is not worth going to see it. Like, uh, okay, I'm just going to start off with the movie. I, I was going to get right into it, but I'm going to just start off with the movie. Okay, so, um, of course, everybody seen the first Halloween, everybody seen Halloween Kills, and we're going to see a Halloween movie. But the first act, the first act of the movie, we get introduced to a new character. And that ain't always bad. But it's like, it's questionable because it's like, it's, it's a trilogy. It's supposed to be like the end of the, it's supposed to be like the last movie. So why introduce a new character? So I'm thinking they're going to introduce this character and I was thinking that he was going to be a love interest for, I guess, Lori's, I guess, is, is that one of her daughters? I forgot who she was to Lori, but I thought he was just going to be a love interest and it was going to get to a point where Michael was going to come out to them and he was going to have to protect her or whatever the case is. But no, they introduced a brand new character for the first 35, 45 minutes of this movie. And I was like, what is going on? Then this new character somehow runs into Michael Myers and Michael Myers look, look each other eye to eye. And it's kind of like the way it's set up is like, it, like Michael was transferring his evil spirit into him. And I was like, what? I'm like, what the hell is this? And I was just, I, it just, I don't know. It's, it was crazy to me. And we basically learned about this character. He, at the beginning of the movie, he was babysitting his kid and he accidentally killed the kid. But I don't know. The, the writers of this movie was terrible. Like pretty much all the characters in the movie was like mean as hell. Like, when it came to Lori Scroll, everybody was mean to her. Even this new character, when he was babysitting his kid, the kid seemed cool at first, but then all of a sudden he became like extra mean. I was like, what's going on here? Um, I just the, the writing, it was just it was terrible. I was I like this movie was so bad that I felt like walking out of the movie theater. That's how bad it was. And um so so the first half was this new character pretty much setting him up to pretty much be Michael Myers. And in the first half, you only really see Michael Myers like one time. Second act, they kind of take it up a notch. He actually lured, lured one, of the, um, one of the people that don't like him down to... Um, down to this, uh, I guess, this little sewage sewage area where Michael's been hiding at. And he pretty much bait Michael into killing him. And when Michael killed him, it seemed like he was, it seemed like him killing this, this person, it kind of was giving him his strength back. And the way it was performed, I was like, what is this? Like, I was like, what? what is this? So, and then Michael didn't kill, didn't kill this guy. And then it turned into this guy and Michael Myers going around, like team up, killing people. And I was like, Michael Myers teamed up with somebody killing. I was like, what, what, what is this? <laughs> the whole time in the movie, I'm like, what is, what is this? And, um, the third act, the third act, um, it was it was a it was terrible. 
I would say the 20, I guess the 15, 20 minutes where it was about Michael to the end was good. But it was a part where this character, this new character went to, went to Michael and was like, you, ha you have something I want. And it's a whole, it's a, it's a, like a two minute scene of this guy is tussling back and forth with Michael Myers. Then he ended up knocking Michael Myers on the ground and taking his mask and leaving. I was like, what? Like they, man, I don't know what this was, man. Like they, they, um, I don't want to say exactly what I want, uh, how I want to say it, but they pretty much, they pretty much stepped all over the legacy of Michael Myers in this movie. You had this, you had this, what, I think he was 21 year old. He was, he was, I guess he was a teenager or something, but I'm like, you had this guy, you had this guy tussling back and forth with Michael Myers, then knock him to the ground and take his mask off. Like, they literally disrespected my, uh, Michael Myers in this movie with this new character. Then they got him teaming up. I'm like, what is this? Oh my God, bro. Like, the last, I want to say 15, 20 minutes is where you really you really see a Halloween movie to end. And it just, it, it was terrible, man. It was garbage. Um, let me go to my notes real quick. Cause this was terrible, man. I just can't believe this. Uh, yeah, the first act, the first act was terrible. Like, this new character end up, being a love interest for Lori Scrolls. I don't know if it's a daughter or whoever the case is. And it felt so forced. Like she started liking him immediately. And I'm like, man, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. We in we in 2022. Ain't no woman gonna just instantly start liking you. Then he was telling her all this all this red all this stuff that was pretty much a red flag. And she gravitating towards him even more. I was like, bro, who wrote this? Um, then, uh, what else I wanted to say? Um, the trailer, the trailer to, to the movie is false advertisement because when you watch the trailer, they mainly showing Lori and, um, Michael Myers pretty much, pretty much throughout the whole thing. But when you see the movie, the first 35, 40 minutes, the first 35, 40 minutes of the movie, you pretty much see Michael maybe two, three times. So, the like I told you, the love, the love interest was forced, and it just, it just didn't make sense. Um, what else? Uh, like I said before, all the characters in the movie was just mean. It was like everybody, everybody just mean. Like then, uh, like I said, they they messed over. They pretty much disrespected. Michael Myers legacy. This is not the Michael Myers that we we knew. Okay, we're gonna take we're gonna take away all the other movies that they said that's not a part of this trilogy. The first and second movie, that's Michael Myers. This movie, this is not Michael Myers. I don't know. I don't know who this is. This is this is an old man in a uh, in a mask. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like it felt like a. It felt like a love story, like a Bunny and Clyde type love story. Then they, t then they tacked on Michael Myers to it. And I was just like, really? <laughs> Man, I ain't never felt like this. I ain't never felt like I was going to literally walk out of, walk out of a movie. Uh, that's ugh, terrible. But, um... I'm giving this movie a three out of ten. It would have been a one out of ten if the if we didn't. I gave it a three out of ten because of the last what fifteen minutes of the movie with Michael Myers and Lloyd Scroll and them finally ending it. But this would have been a one because I don't know, I don't know what this was. <laughs> I really don't know what this was, man. This was terrible. Uh, but honestly, man, a, a true ending to Halloween, my opinion, a true ending was Halloween H2O. Halloween H2O, we, you know, we went through Lord Scroll changing her name, trying to make sure she, he don't ever find her. 
he finally find her. He try to come out there, and then you know she just decide, okay, I want to end this now. Like that, that was just perfect. Like, cause I wasn't expecting it when I saw the movie. I was thinking, yeah, of course she's gonna run out there. He's gonna try to get away. But this, but in Holland Wakes well, she was like, I'm finna face him, and I'm finna end it. And then at the end, they had the little, they had the little, kind of like, I would say, family to family interaction for a hot second and then she chopped the head out and that was it. That was the true ending of Halloween. That Halloween resurrection was trash. Uh, Rob Zombie, uh, his movies was trash. The Halloween, this trilogy, Halloween was, uh, I enjoyed Halloween. I didn't like the part where the doctor put on his mask, but besides that, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, Halloween Kills. I just didn't like the mob scene. The mob scene at the end and how he killed her daughter, they, they could have did way better with that, but... Halloween Ends is terrible. Halloween Ends is worse than Resurrection. That's how bad. That's how bad this is. So, um, my score for this is a three out of ten. Uh, I don't want to watch this again. Um, I'm not, I'm not even gonna add it to a collection. Like I, I might. I think I got the. I think I got Halloween. I might get Halloween Kills, but I'm not getting this movie. This movie was garbage. Hot freaking garbage if you want to see this movie wait till it come on netflix wait till it come on uh what is it tubi yeah watch it on watch it on tubi don't don't spend no money don't rent it nothing uh don't hey don't go see this movie at all don't waste your money but yeah that's all i got to say about this movie i was i the fact that i was about to walk out the movie theater is is a is enough like I thought there was like a, it felt like a parody of <laughs> But yeah, that's all I got for this one. Uh, I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for new videos.